In the previous video, we looked at designing the database for the Smart Art database, and we created four tables, TBL Artist, TBL Exhibition, TBL Gallery, and TBL Gallery Type. Moving on now to create the validation to meet the requirements. So we've got a list of requirements here. A record for an artist will not save without the artist's surname present. A record for an artist will not save without the artist's initial in the correct format. A record will not save if a gallery is assigned an invalid gallery type. A record will not save if the exhibition is for an invalid artist. And a record will not save if the number of days is below the accepted range. And a record will not save if the number of days is above the accepted range. Let's do the first one of these. A record for an artist will not save without the artist's surname being present. For the TBL artist in design view, we're going to the surname field. And if we just come down to validation rule, we're going to use is not null. That means it can't be left empty. And the validation text will be Artist surname must be entered and save. The next validation we're going to do is a record for an artist will not save without the artist's initial in the correct format. We click on the artist initial field and for this we're going to use the input mask. The artist initial must be present, it must be one initial and it must be an uppercase. So we're going to use the greater than sign to force anything into uppercase, and then the L represents a character that's got to be entered. The next validation is a record will not save if a gallery is assigned an invalid gallery type. I've got the gallery table here open in design view. If I click on the gallery type field and make sure you click on the lookup tab, you can see that we've dealt with this already because we've got a combo box it's based on a table and it, the row sources, we're going to select the gallery type ID from TBL Gallery. And what that will do is present the user with a list of gallery types to choose from. If they try to enter one that's not on the list, then an error message will be displayed. I would always limit to list here. It's something that I think the examiner is looking for and allow value list edits and no. The next validation is a record will not save if the exhibition is for an invalid artist. So I've got here TBL exhibition open in design view. I'm going to click on the artist ID and if, again if we come to the lookup tab, again we've already dealt with this when we set up the tables and the relationships using that lookup wizard. It's created the combo box, it's based on a table, and we're going to select the artist ID from TBL Artist. Again, limit to list and allow value list edits no. And then our final validation is a record will not save if the number of days is below the accepted range, and a record will not save if the number of days is above the accepted range. Let's come back to the original task scenario just to remind me that an exhibition runs for at least three days and no more than 10 days. Fill up TBL exhibition opening design view, click on number of days, make sure you're on the general tab, and then we can put in the validation. So this needs to be between three and 10. That means the user can enter a number in between three and 10. And then a message for the user, And I believe that completes all the validation for this part of the paper. Make sure you save and then we're ready to move on to the next activity, which will be creating the queries.